Hi everyone, so today I've got another pregnancy update for you. The weeks are going by, so again, it's another pregnancy update. And today I'm going to be doing my 25 week pregnancy update. And if you are new to my channel, you like beauty, fashion, lifestyle videos, please do hit that subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen. Try and treat a thousand subscribers. Love to have your help, love to have you back. So please do hit that button, it's completely free. So I'm going to get straight on into this video. As you know, I just sort of go on about what happened during the week and how I've been feeling and all the things that I've been changing in my body and how I have been feeling sort of emotionally as well as physically because uh, obviously pregnancy is also an emotional change as well as a physical change so I go through all that sort of thing so I'm going to go straight onto my app which I normally do and just tell you what's going to happen sort of during your 25 weeks pregnancy if you are pregnant as well. So during your 25 week sort of stretch, your baby will grow to 34.6 centimeters, which to me just seems massive. <laughs> like I just, it's amazing how babies fit in your tummy. Uh, that's all I have to say. And at this stage, they would weigh 1.46 pounds, so nearly one and a half pounds. So they have really gained weight from last week. So last week they were around 1.3. So they put on like a good, good amount of weight this week as well um, and the growth spur as well has been quite huge. It says your baby's primitive memory is beginning to develop implying that music and voices will be leaving an impression in your little one's brain. Uh, his spine has a thousand ligaments, 150 joints and 33 vertebrae. Blood vessels are busy developing inside the lungs and nostrils are beginning to open. Now that your baby has fully developed hands, loud noises may even prompt a little junior to cover the tiny ears to shield them from sounds. His skin has changed from a translucent to a more opaque in, in appearance. The cerebral cortex, the part of the brain that is responsible for emotions, reasoning, planning and ability to solve problems is the most prominent part of the brain at this point. So lots happening this week for little baby. And for your body as well, because your body is obviously ever changing as well, so you're Obviously your belly is getting bigger, gets bigger every week and around this time you might notice that your baby gets hiccups and these might feel like jerky movements. Now I can't really tell if my baby has hiccups or if they're just kicking, moving, scrumming around. Uh, just there's a lot of movement, that's all I can say. Um, you may begin to notice that your baby responds outside sounds and jumps to sudden loud noises. You may also notice that baby has a favourite band or sound. You might also find that your baby has a pattern of waking and sleeping. Very often this is a different pattern to yours and it normally happens when you go to bed. And I can actually say that is definitely true. Baby is definitely more active, well I notice him being more active when I'm in bed or just sitting on the sofa in the evening just moving around, having a lovely time. You can also be getting headaches, leg cramps, and even rib pain um, at this time, which is completely normal, um, as the baby is taking up much more space and cramping up your organs. Haven't had any sort of discomfort above the belly button yet. Definitely been having those twinges uh, around the sort of side of my tummy down the bottom, like the ligament pull still. So my camera just ran out of space, so I'm hoping we are at the right place here. And it says that you may be uh, experienced Braxton Hicks contractions, and I have actually been experiencing those throughout the week. My tummy keeps getting really, really tight, and then it relaxes, and then it gets really, really tight, and then it relaxes, and some of them have been quite uncomfortable. I would say painful, because, you know, they shouldn't be painful, um, but there's definitely been those contractions happening, and I've actually had those for a few weeks. I think I mentioned them last week as well, and the midwife on my 20 week scan that I had um, here in Sweden said that that's pretty much what it was, was my uterus contracting. Um, so I've been having those for quite a while. So I'm not sure why I've been having them. Maybe I've got an irritable uterus, I'm not sure. Um, if you're having twins, then they cause more Braxton Hicks contractions. These contractions do not have a pattern um, like true labor will do. So if you're having them like regularly, then go and call your midwife because um, they shouldn't happen sort of in regular intervals. So there we go, that is the information given. So how, how have I been feeling physically? I've been feeling pretty good this week. I have not been as tired and I've been sleeping much, much better than I have been the last couple of weeks, which you would have known that I've been really struggling with sleep and dreams and that sort of thing. 
that seems to have disappeared. I have been sleeping with a pillow, just a normal regular pillow, a bit like this one sort of size, um, in between my legs at night. I just pop it in between my legs and that has really helped with my back pain and I don't know why, I think it just keeps my pelvis aligned a bit more and I haven't been suffering so much with that pain in my back from doing that so that's really really helped and I've just been getting much better night's sleep. I've only been having to get up like once in the night to go to the toilet because I've been sleeping better. Uh, before I was waking up with pain in my back and every time I woke up obviously I find that if you wake up in the night you have to go for a wee. So um, because the sleep's better I haven't had to get up so often to the toilet either. So I've been feeling a lot more energetic this week than I have done the previous couple of weeks. But in regards to like maternity wear, I'm still only wearing the maternity bras and trousers. I'm trying to not buy too much maternity clothes and I really do feel that you can go quite far in your pregnancy without buying too much. I bought this dress the other day which I love and it's from H&M and it has an elasticated waist and I got this in a size 6 which is my normal size and it fits perfectly and I think it will probably fit me throughout my entire pregnancy. So there are things that you can buy that you can wear during pregnancy and after pregnancy. And if you, I think I'm gonna might probably do a video on that, like sort of things I've been wearing that I feel that you can wear sort of during and after and before pregnancy so that you don't have to sort of just buy something that you're not gonna wear again. In regards to stretch marks, there's no stretch marks as of yet. I've just been moisturizing sort of, you know, when I remember, I haven't been too religious about it. But if I'm having any sort of tightening or pulling, I will sit there and just moisturise my tummy with some moisturiser just to help that. I must say that my itching of my boobs have completely gone now and they are feeling pretty good. Sometimes they do itch, don't get me wrong, but nowhere near the amount they did to begin with and they feel a lot more comfortable now. Like I can touch them, I can push them and they're not sore anymore. Um, like at the beginning of the pregnancy, I couldn't even like go anywhere near them because they hurt so much. Um, I'm feeling like they're a little bit more part of my body now, even though they look very, very strange on me because they're so much bigger than what I'm used to. This week I have found that my feet have actually been very, very achy. Uh, I don't know if that's just because we do a lot of walking. Like in the weekends, we go like hiking and walking and we did like, oh, I know. <laughs> around 30,000 to 25, 30,000 steps every day of the weekend and then I did it again on the Monday and by Tuesday my feet were like really, really sore to the point that I found it really hard to walk because of the pain. Um, I'm not sure if that's got to do with the fact that I'm carrying a bit more weight now. I'm not like loads more but I don't know if that's like a change and also my sort of level of gravity is changing so I don't know if that's like putting different pressure on my feet. Uh, but yeah, they've been really hurting sort of on the top ridge of my feet there and my ankles have been really, really sore. And I was looking in the mirror the other day and I was thinking, because I had like my little boots on with a little tiny heel and I have tiny ankles and I was like, is that why my feet hurt? Because I've literally put on, all my weight is on my tummy and these little ankles are having to hold it up. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the case, but yeah, I had a little giggle to myself. I guess you have to giggle to yourself at times. Baby has also, as I said before, been moving a lot and um, I always say he's having a little jiggle because um, <laughs> he moves pretty much, he moves all the time like in the morning. So if I wake up and have breakfast and that sort of thing, he's always dancing around. He's quite quiet during the day um, and then in the evening he gets super duper active and then at night time if I wake up any time he's always having a little boogie inside my tummy and it's always like really do you have to do that right now because <laughs> um, obviously if I find it quite difficult to get back to sleep because he's like having a dance um, but yeah, I really really enjoyed the movements and so far they're still quite they're quite prominent now but they're not like sometimes you see like people that have like a foot being pushed down I don't think we're at that stage yet uh, but you can see my tummy vibrate when he kicks or punches or headbutts or bum comes out I'm not really sure which one and also it sometimes feels like well you know when your tummy grumbles and there's like that vibration through the tummy it's like sort of like that uh, but more intense and it feels like he's like swooshing through my tummy um, which is an interesting sensation to experience but again really really nice do you like it just sort of watching my tummy move while he moves around in there 
uh, it just sort of you know makes me feel a little bit more connected to my baby uh what else we last week we bought the stroller this week i haven't actually bought anything this week uh i did go into a baby shop yesterday and had a look and i i've already sort of made a little list of like blankets and stuff that i want to get and that sort of thing we still need to get a baby bassinet and um so much stuff literally we've just got a stroller and some clothes so far so we've still got a long way to go uh i just don't know when to start buying all the stuff i don't know if i should wait till like after christmas because there'll probably be sales so maybe i might wait till then i don't know let me know below what how sort of late you left it before you went and bought all the big stuff my wedding ring is still on and my belly button is also still in however i feel like i've got a semi in the outie now Yes, I've named it semi in the outy uh, because it kind of pops slightly out, but it's kind of still in. Uh, but you'll see that on the belly shot as well. I'm going to do a belly shot for you now. Okay, so this is the tummy with clothes on. Growing. And this is me without. Pull this up. There you go. As you can see, it is coming up slightly now above the belly button and it is growing quite far out, but it's still very, very low. But it's definitely a bump. So yes, it's been a good week this week and I, I got, yesterday I went to a Swedish language class and I was pretty much the only English person there but there was a nice lady that was helping me who also spoke some English and um, I went to the toilet and then came back and she said, oh, are you, um, are you carrying a baby? <laughs> and I, I don't know English humour, said, oh no, I just ate all the pies. And I think that she didn't get the joke and I think she thought, I ate all the pies, so I don't know if I should uh, clarify that next week. That yes, I am expecting a baby. I'm not just got a massive tummy. <laughs> it's like, oh dear. Oh, I shouldn't have said it, but um, it was just it just came out. I was just like, oh no, I just ate all the pies. Um, thinking you know English humour, but of course I'm not in England, so no one gets the English humour. But anyway. Never mind, I'm either, so either pregnant or eating all the pies, that's for sure, this week. And, oh, I forgot to mention that tomorrow, I've also got a midwife appointment, uh, which is quite exciting, that's my 25 week midwife appointment. Uh, so we'll see, that's when they start measuring your tummy and your uterus and that sort of thing. I'm not really sure how they do that, so I can tell you next week um, what happened. Uh, but yeah, lots of things to look forward to and just yeah enjoying my time at the moment i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up as i said before please 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 do hit that subscribe button and i will see you in my next video see you later